I'm joining you today to demonstrate how to make one of these lovely little bobble hats for the Innocent Smoothie drinks bottle. To make one of these hats you will need quantities of double knitting, size 4mm knitting needles or number 8 in Imperial, a bodkin for sewing and a pair of scissors and of course your pattern. Here's a closer look for this pattern and more you can view or download at thebignit.co.uk forward slash knitting hyphen patterns. The first thing we need to do is learn how to cast on. There are two types of casting on with knitting, a two pin method and a thumb method. I'm going to show both of them to you now. For the two pin method, you need to make a slip knot, pop that onto the pin, place the other pin through that slip knot as well, take the wool around the pin and pull the stitch through and pop it on to the left hand pin. Same again, pop the needle through, pull the wool round and pop it onto the left hand pin. We have slowed this little bit down so you can get a closer look, but remember you can pause the video at any time to take a good look at what's happening. So this is the two pin method. There you go. The second method of casting on would be the thumb method. For this you need to have a length of wool that you're going to use to create those stitches. Wrap the wool around your thumb as shown. Pop the needle under the wool and this is to create your first slip knot. Put the wool around the needle and slip that off your thumb, pulling it taut to create your slip knot. You then use your thumb again to create your stitches. Wrap the wool round, push the pin under, wool round the needle and slip off. And as you can see that creates your stitches. If you want an idea of how long a piece of wool you require for the mid stitches you need, normally you would wind the wool around your needle for the amount of stitches you want. And that gives a fair idea of the length of wool required before you start. We're going to continue with this now until we've got the necessary 31 stitches on the pin before we start knitting. That's the last of the slow motion. We're just going to fast forward now to the 31 stitches required. You need to count them as you go. We're nearly there. We'll just have another double check of how many stitches we've got before we complete. There we are, 31 stitches. And we're now ready to start our two rows of knit. Right, we'll begin knitting. 
knitting, this is the plain stitch, the most common stitch used when knitting. You push the needle through the loop, pull the wool round the needle and take the pin off. You're transferring the stitches from the left pin to the right pin and this is a knit stitch. We're doing a few of them in slow motion. Remember at any time you can pause this video and have a closer look at what's going on. Now we're going to fast forward to the end of this row. There we go, that's the end of the first row. And we'll turn around and we've got a second row of knit to do. So again, you push the needle through the loop, pull the wool around the pin and transfer the stitches from the left needle to the right. And we'll just fast forward that second row as well. And that's the first part of the pattern completed. The second part of the pattern is going into stocking stitch. This is one row of knit and then one row of purl. We've already gone into the knit stitches, so we're going to fast forward that first row of knit. Now, once again, we've slowed this right down for the purl stitches. Purl, the needle is put in through the loop from the opposite direction. The wool is wrapped round and again we're transferring the stitches from the left needle to the right. Again, if you need to pause the video at any time to study this more closely, please feel free to do so. We're going to speed that one up again to the end of the row and that completes the two stitches required to produce stocking stitch. The pattern requires you to do 12 rows of stocking stitch which will be six of knit and six of purl. To save time, we're now going to jump forward and show you what six rows of stocking stitch looks like. And then we're going to jump forward and show you what 12 rows looks like. And that is the second part of the pattern completed. We now have to begin shaping the top of the hat. And that is done by knitting two stitches together at one time. Once again, we have slowed this right down for you. You can see the needle is put through two stitches in a knit wise fashion. Pull the wool around as you would normally do and transfer both of the stitches off as one and you do this all the way across the next row. Don't be alarmed, I know there are 31 stitches. 
so there will be one odd stitch at the end of the row that you just knit. Be patient, we will fast forward to the end of this row. We're now going to purl the next row. You may find the stitches a little loose because of course each stitch represents two previously, so it can feel a little bit loose. But we'll just fast forward to the end of this as we've already done the slow motion versions of the purl stitch. You're now very near the end of your pretty little bobble hat. And once again, the next row, we're going to knit two together. This brings the shaping to the top of the hat. your knitting completed. We now need to have a tail of about six inches so that we can sew your hat up. Take the bodkin Thread the wool And to draw the top of the hat to a nice finish We're going to thread the wool through the stitches right to the end of the row and then very carefully slide the stitches off the knitting needle. Just to make doubly sure that we don't lose any of those stitches, I then like to thread the wool through those stitches again. And then draw it through nice and tight, giving a nice finish to the top of the hat. The next job is to sew the row ends together. This is very easily done by picking up the matching loops on either side of the row ends. Remember at any time you can pause the video so that you can re-watch, rewind, anything you need to do to make sure you can make these hats. Just make sure that the row ends match. I normally do a second stitch at the end there 
and then just thread the wool through some of your stitches just to finish off and cut off any excess. And there you go, you've got your hat completed. The next job to do is to make the pom-pom for the top of your hat. To do this, you will need a small quantity of double knitting wool, a bodkin, a pair of scissors, and to make a small pom-pom, I prefer to use the prongs of a fork. We'll take a length of wool, pop the tail of it into the palm of your hand, and then I normally wrap the wool around the prong approximately 25 times. So we'll just fast forward that for you. Making sure you keep it taut all the time. Cut a length of wool. Thread that onto your bodkin makes it easier to feed it through the prongs and then wrap it around the middle prong a couple of times to draw that wool together if you haven't got a friend available to give you a hand you can put the fork between your knees to enable you to tie the ends off this needs to be tied tightly because when you cut the ends of the wool, the loops of the wool, we don't want any of them to fall out. So a couple of good, strong knots there. Then carefully slide that off the fork using a sharp pair of scissors, cut through the wool. Both sides. With a little bit of teasing, create your pom-pom. Draw the two ends through the bodkin and then we can pop it on top of your hat. So where we made that gather right at the top of the hat, push the point of the bodkin through there and pull the pom-pom in tightly. We don't want it flopping about. Then secure well to the top of the hat. And your innocent drink bobble hat is almost complete. Just a quick knot to secure. Trim off the ends. And there you go, just teasing to shape. And there is your innocent drink bobble hat top. If you didn't want to make a pom-pom, you could always use the craft pom-poms and use a glue gun to pop them on. Thank you.
you for joining me and watching my Age UK knitting tutorial. You can find this pattern and many more of varying skill levels at thebigknit.co.uk forward slash knitting hyphen patterns.